Hello, welcome back. Last time I did the chain of events starting at outside in, which ended at uh, third degree, that's right, and chipped away at this long one that started with the vowels, and I don't even remember where this ends. Uh, so this is going on for a while. I'm here in Whale of a Time. I've remembered what words are supposed to be made here. I'll bide my time, yes. So hints are all over the place. Yesterday, today, tomorrow. Uh, all right, so how do you work? So you rotate to the left, involving this. That rotates to the left, involving this. That rotates to the left, involving this. Oh boy, is that everything? Yeah, I don't think there's any other magical spots. Okay, so they just intersect at those spots. Yeah, all right. All right, so yesterday. Uh, why? E? Uh, okay, so how's this going to work? This is actually a little bit more complicated. I guess the thing to do here would be this. Yes. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. Yes. Something. Alright, so that's the only other E. Gonna snarf it up over here. Actually, why don't I move it all the way in here and then uh, Y E S T. Then I can do this. Sure. Yes, sir. So just give me a D. Whoa. Uh, that's okay. I can fix that. Okay, that's complicated. Um. Yeah, all right. That's not so bad. All right, so that's one. Uh, you now. So what I need to do is each time I do this and do my business over here, I need to do the reverse of that move so that I don't disrupt this too much. Okay, that's fine. So that was two to the left. So now I need to go two to the right. All right, uh, one to the right, one to the left. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Now you just need to turn into tomorrow. How will that happen? Uh, I think the way I want to do that is... Oh boy, what do I want to do? Um, I'm going to move this over here. Move that over there. Wait, what? Okay, this O needs to be replaced by a T. For now, I'll replace it with this T, since there's two T's there. Alright, so that still says today, and if I move this, that still says yesterday. Okay, cool. That M needs to move into place somehow. This is some complicated shuffling, but I think this will only make sense. Uh, where do I get this T back? I guess... Here, let's just do this and see how well it goes. And not worry about this letter, because I'm not really touching it. Um, so wait, where does this start? Tomorrow. So that needs to turn into an R. Which means I need to take this R. And the O. Okay, that looks pretty good. Done. Gee, did I make up for lost time? Or do I have time on my hands? Am I having the time of my life? 
Or am I living on borrowed time? Can I call time my time? No. Can I call my time my own? Or does time hang heavy on my hands? Well, only time will tell. Man, she is fed up. About time she left. Understand? I beg your pardon. <laughs> All right. Each and every time, there's been three of each mutation. Not four, not two, but three. Very curious indeed. <laughs> it makes it so much easier when you all move around. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's get this done. So, uh, I see two. So two more of these to go. Just you and I. Oh, I is going to be a thing. And I'm going to have to do it today, probably. Uh, I saw the other one of you, but now, now it moved. It makes it so much easier when you all move around. All right, that's an A. That's a different A. There we go. Uh, uh, there are lots of A's here. No, wait, you're a different one yet. Okay, so... Uh, yeah. I'm going to clear out the A's. Uh -huh. uh, try to, at least... All right, where's the other one of you? There it is. And the upside down ones are similar. I see, no. Oh wait, there's still a right side up, eh? Well, whatever. Uh, I'll get this one first. So you. Yes, actually you this time. <laughs> uh, you. So all the way down, yeah. not really an A anymore. Yeah. Upside down you. Uh, yeah. Somewhere. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Upside down A with the line almost at the top. No, not you. Although yeah. I see, wait, what? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah. It's hard to tell exactly where that line is because all the positions are different. Um, uh, I see two of these. That should stand out. Every time I say that, it's false. Nothing stands out here. <laughs> H. There's an H here. For some reason. Uh, where, though? Here. All right. H, uh, H upper. Not that upper. Just a little bit upper. You. H lower. Uh, somewhere. Maybe. Someday. Somehow. Where are you? You is all over the place. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just pick anything. Ideally something I can see two of. So don't worry about it until I can see two of it. Uh, I don't see two of anything. They're all different. Here we go. Uh, not you. Not that you. Different you. Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, I see two of you. Uh, that's not the same. That's different. That's it. No, it's not. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Well, that happened. Uh, all right, let's just do the normal ones. Uh, sure. No, no, that's different. Uh, no, that's different. That's different. Ah! Everything except the one I want. I see three of these. Where's the one I want? Not you. Uh, not that, although I see three of those. And then that moved. That's fine. I found it again. Uh, okay. Normal shape there. Upside down A. Somehow I haven't done that one yet. That upside down A. This upside down A. Uh, 
in place. Okay, in the center, or no, let's do that. Uh, uh, uh huh. Upside down, in the center. Uh, it's getting pretty cleared out now. But not enough to see this one, apparently. Is it you? No. No. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, no. Don't move. Why is this getting harder? This, I guess I've saved the some of the very similar looking ones for last. Well, no, no. The reason is because everything is moving faster. What? Those are different. So I should take out the similar looking ones as much as I can before they really start moving faster. What am I looking for? This? That. Uh, uh. Actually, why don't I leave that one? That doesn't look similar to anything. Uh, that one's distinctive now. That's not what I want. That is. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, nearly done. Wait, what? Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Where is I? Do you mean I as in you? The, do you mean I as in you or the letter I? Can't fool me again. Who am I? What do you think you are, a J? A J? Oh, that's right. I am a J. Thanks. This should prove interesting. <laughs> so you's kind of confused. Bees in her bonnet. Now where did that you go? I was rather hoping to see her make a fool of herself. It's not every day you see a you who thinks she's a J. <laughs> hey, let us out of here! Did someone say something? Yes, that power surge jammed the doors shut. Would you try and get them open again? Alright, this is another one of those um, outside-in sort of puzzles, isn't it? Upper section could be done in six unique moves, and lower section in seven unique moves. Open all security doors. No, which doors affect other doors? Okay. This should keep me busy as a bee. But you're not actually a bee. There's lots of bees here, though. Okay. So, looks like the distinction is... Some do two, some do three. So, closing this does three. Opening that does three. Opening that does three. Closing that does three. I feel like I'm most interested in the ones that where opening them does three. So you, you, you. Uh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what I need is... If it's going to be six moves, and there's ten total, then how many toggles is that? So it can't be ten. Uh, two of the things I click need to be threes. The rest need to be twos. Okay. So what if I make these the threes, and then the others... I don't know. Yeah, this is annoyingly trial and error heavy. 
And I'm not entirely sure how to strategize about this. Like outside in had an easy way because I had to had to deal with the the outside uh, thingies. This one is much less obvious. I could chart it out, I guess. So what if? I could just click around for a long time until it just happens to work. But it'd be so much better to figure out the appropriate six moves. Okay, so let's look at the bottom one. Seven unique moves. Fifteen things. It's not those seven. So once again, two or three. So if I'm doing seven moves, I need six twos and one three. That's, yeah, that's right. Uh, though not necessarily. If something's toggling, hmm. All right, well, I guess I could map this all out. Uh, do I want to bother with that? All right, fine, I'll just do it. Well, I charted all this out a few different ways, and it really did not help. I'm sure there's some clever way to solve this, but it's not really fun to do by hand, so I guess I'll choose the other not fun way to do it, <laughs> that uh, will eventually get it done, and just brute force. So, gonna be clicking a bunch. I'll try to find the correct six sequence for this and seven sequence for this. Uh, so I note that this could be done with a single click that opens two, and then each click opening one after that. Well, not that. Because um, it's always either uh, one extra or two extra. Uh, I need to open 15 here in seven moves, but I need to open 10 here in six moves, so something is going to close at some point. So the top one's actually kind of trickier, even though it's smaller. All right, well, I'm just going to fiddle around until I find the correct sequence for these, I guess. Actually, hang on. I might have stumbled on something more intelligent I can do here. So I noticed that... Um, all right, so ideally I would want all of these to be open moves. Um, oh, they're not going to be. Uh, I noticed that some of these cells do not have any move that affects them, so they will definitely have to be clicked. So I can deduce that I'm clicking here, 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 and here, because those four did not have any um, did not have any cells that affect other cells that affected those tiles at least on open did I look for close uh, I think both oh no okay so this one could be affected by a close of this one okay so that's I don't necessarily need to click here but I'm pretty sure about the other three I think no this one also okay well at least I can say for 100% certain that I absolutely have to click here and here. And those are both twos, so that means that one of these moves is going to be a close. But see if it's a close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that actually makes sense. Okay, well. Um, all right, so applying logic to this, which thing would I like to close? Okay, so I clicked here and here. I know for sure I need to do that because no other anything at all here affected these two. I can actually demonstrate that. I'll click them both tw Oh, wait, what? Hey, look, I'm wrong. Closing that one affects this. Dang it! <laughs> so is it at least true for the lower right? Okay, so the only information I can deduce for sure is that I have to click here, because nothing else affects that. That doesn't get me very far. Man. All right, well, I have one move in the bottom, at least. Maybe I can apply that same process. No, I can't. Uh, I can kind of apply that same process to the top. Nope, doing it on top didn't lead anywhere. Uh, every single one of these can be affected by another one. So I'm only able to deduce one move this way. Ah, yuck. See, now all the memories are coming back of why I hated this puzzle so much. This is kind of terrible. Because, like, how 
how are you supposed to do this other than trial and error? Like even with a chart here, just like picking six more moves here that's somehow going to end with all of these open is just not going to happen. So, all right, back to just blundering and hoping. Well, I devised a new process and found a seven move uh, sequence that works for the top and I'm just going to take it. Uh, I'm not going to continue. Well, see, okay, so the seven move thing that works here. All right, so observe what this does. Opening this opens those two. I'm not going to make that move because I don't think I can reset once I've done this. Uh, so let's see. Open. 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 Close. No, wait, I need to open this one. See, the problem with deducing a solution to this is whether you can open or close a door changes based on the order of things you do. So I'm going to do those two. This this, that, that, yeah. So then if I'd click here, that would open those and solve the top one in seven moves. I want to do it in six. Uh, it's hard to explain the process that I'm using. So I am I have a paint program open with layered uh, semi-transparent pixels representing each one of these. Uh, the layers are named with the type of move that would do that. Yeah, so <laughs> explaining that and not being able to show it probably doesn't help much. But I'm going to see if I can refine that a little more. You know what? No. No, I'm not. I'm done with that. I don't like this puzzle at all. This is really quite awful. Yuck. Uh, so, I don't know the six-move solution to that, but that's a seven-move one, and it works fine. So, I'm going to find one for the bottom one, I guess. All right, I followed the same process for the bottom part, and it has once again led me to a solution that's one more move than the required number. But if I can make it work, it should be okay. All right, so I've numbered these 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have eight unique open moves I need to make. So I need to make 0. Uh, there's my audio. Huh, that was weird. <laughs> okay, reset, okay. Now, so the trick with this is I've I've chosen eight open moves, but I'm not necessarily going to get that many opens because this can open other stuff too. Um, but this should be pretty good. Okay, so zero, two, three, four, seven, uh, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. Look, it's that broken letter we've been hearing about. Listen, honey, a few bits here and there and you'll be fine. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I like the way I look, thank you very much. And if I were you, I'd sit down and try to figure out just what you're supposed to look like. My, my, aren't we huffy? <laughs> she looks more like the number three. Why would anyone want to look like a number? I can't imagine. All right, more clues. So that puzzle was super unpleasant. I did not enjoy that at all. Oh boy! <laughs> and I'm here and pick up the tab. I know what this is. What's with these letters, anyway? Haven't they see ever seen a number before? This will only take forever. Yeah, okay, so apparently I've picked out the two most unpleasant uh, puzzles for today. So this is the one I've been talking about. Pick up... The eyes. Ugh. All right, I'm just going to do it, get it done, and hopefully not have to deal with any puzzles this unpleasant for the rest of the game. Here, let's just do the upside down plain T. That should be distinctive enough to spot. Should be distinctive enough to spot, almost. Yep. Okay, upside down, there you go. Right side up T with a line at the top. No dots. Ugh. Oh boy. Or if I spot anything, any two of something, I'll switch to that. So this is the actual eye. Right, got two of those. Uh, Alright, so anything that looks like a T has a line toward the top, but doesn't have the dot. Here's what I need. Basically, I just need to scan back and forth. 
And that's not reliable because stuff moves around, so, yeah, whatever. Just have to do it. No sense in complaining. There we go. All right. So dot slightly down from where the line is. Hey, why? That just happens on its own. Like, I did not take an action to do that. It just, it just did it. <sighs> see, yeah, it doesn't really make sense to wait until I see two of the same... If I see a reasonably distinctive one... Oh, wow, my eyes just did something weird. <laughs> it's hard to explain what I experienced, but it was like I went blind for half a second there. <laughs> uh, um, ew, yeah, this puzzle is not making my eyes happy. Not making these eyes happy either. Uh, uh, wow, yeah. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Since this is just going to be super long and tedious, and I'm just going to be doing exactly this for a while, why don't I just speed this up? Well, there we go. You know, that didn't take as long as I expected. Real time, that was about uh, 12 minutes. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't do math anymore. Uh, 17 minutes? Let's see. 15 minutes. 15 is the number. <laughs> so uh, the way I did that was I just sort of came up with a language in my head to describe the letter I had first clicked on. Like, for example, upside down T, line top, dot bottom. Uh, that would completely describe the, um, the thing that I was seeing. Like, I noticed that the dots could be in three vertical positions, the lines could be in three vertical positions, it could have uh, either, both, or neither. Uh, anyway. That puzzle's done. Oh, it's you! Who's he calling a you? And you're welcome, Alpha Twit. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Hard disk. <laughs> That's the payoff. Oh, and this keeps going. Haven't I been here before? Yeah, so this is another one of the vowels. Birds of a feather, and I think that's where it ends. How's the letter legislature doing? Yeah, getting filled in. Yeah, this is... Um, 
I know there's another long chain like this that goes through all the meshes, which are pretty serious business. Oh, wow. I'm actually... Closer to done with these than I thought I was. Yeah, that took me through a lot of puzzles. Okay, anyway, so next time, birds of a feather. I think this... No, I might go to the CPU after that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this sequence just sort of keeps going. Anyway, I'll see you next time for birds of a feather. And whatever that leads to, I think I'm almost done with this chain, but we'll see. I'll see you then.